Hello everyone. In today's eyes video series, we will do eyes initial configuration, network devices configuration in our lab in a EVNG. Then we'll do eyes dashboard go through. So in today's video, we will do a lab network devices configuration in a EVNG. Then we'll do eyes initial configuration. Then we'll go do a Windows Server configuration and we'll do a DSCP and DNS configurations in our Windows Server. And, and uh, we will create a Active Directory as well. In our server, then we'll do L L3, L2 switches configuration and uh, we'll configure router as an Internet Gateway. So this is our topology for our eyes training. Initially, we will use this topology. In this topology, we have one internet router, one L3 switch, one L2 switch. Then we have one eyes, we have one Windows Server, and we have one management PC. Then we have one test PC to do a testing of whatever configurations we are doing in our eyes. Okay, so let's start with our router first. So what IPs we need to assign to a router, everything is given uh, right side. So if you go to a router, on router we have two interfaces. One interface is going towards internet, second interface is going towards a LAN, L3 switch. So. E0 going to a internet is uh, configured with uh, one IP and E01 towards the LAN is configured with uh, 5 dot series IP. Okay. Interface 0. Okay. We need to do natting configuration in our uh, router that we will do later in, in the later series. In today's video, we are just doing the initial configuration. Okay. After a router configuration, we'll do our L3 switch configuration. <coughs> In a L3 switch, we are going to create a three VLANs. VLAN 5 then VLAN 10 VLAN 10 we gave a name as a MGMT VLAN then VLAN 20 VLAN 20 we gave a name test lab okay then uh, the interfaces which are going towards eyes Windows Server and uh, MGMT PC will be part of VLAN 10 the link going towards uh, router will be part of VLAN 5 first we'll configure a VLAN 5 link Okay, then uh, interface is to support access VLAN 10 description. It is going to eyes link. 
an interface using the slash 3 Start more access access VLAN 10 description is win server then e1 slash 0 switch port more access switch port access vlan 10 description mjmtpc okay then we have one more link going towards a router this will be part of uh, this will be trunk link which is e0 slash 1 mode trunk Switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q. Switch port mode trunk. Description L2 switch link. Okay. Then we need to configure uh, VLAN interfaces. Interface VLAN 5. IP address. L3 VLAN 5, what is IP? 192.168.5.1.0. No shut. VLAN 10. VLAN 10, what will be IP? 10.1. No shut. Then we have VLAN 20. What will be IP of VLAN 20? 20.1 then no shut okay then we need to do a routing configuration from L3 to router IP route this is a internet route 5.2 okay save this then we need to do L2 configuration on L2 as of now we are just doing the initial configuration we are not do, going to do any dot one x or map or anything let's create a VLANs VLAN 10 VLAN 20 set host name L2 switch then uh, interface VLAN 10 IP address what is IP of uh, L2 switch L2 VLAN 10 10 dot 50 okay 192 168 10 dot 50 255.255.0 no shut then uh, towards uh, L3 switch uh, it would be trunk link interface E 0 slash 0 switch port mode trunk switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q switch port mode trunk then description towards uh, L3 okay then we need to do one default gateway configuration G default try to ping now 10.1 okay pinging 20.1 So IP route okay config T IP route zero zero dot dot one okay let's see now routes okay now try to ping twenty dot one pinging five dot one okay Okay, so this is done.
later on I'll to switch we will do configuration of uh, AAA configuration export configuration okay okay so this is done now let's do our eyes initial configuration so whenever you do eyes initial configuration you just need to type a setup first host name eyes IP address our domain will be like lab.com okay let me just choose that domain lab.com <coughs> okay what is eyes IP address 192.168.10.10 subnet mask 255.0.0 gateway 192.168.10.1 i don't want ipv6 as of now dns domain lab.com primary name server 192.168.10.11 i don't have secondary name server ntp same it's okay i don't have any secondary ntp Asia Kolkata. Okay, let me check. Uh, see, ice time zone is available here. Asia Kolkata. This is a time zone. We need to select if you are from India. Enable SSH. Okay. Then default username is admin okay enter a password you need to select your new password okay by the time the eyes takes place we'll do a windows server configuration Let me check for a password function. So first we'll give a server IP address. What is the IP address of the server? 10.11 gateways 10.1 give uh, ok close let's wait don't retry as of now because our DNS server is not up and running but eyes will try to ping the name server without that too we will start a eyes setup okay. initially we need to do like ad configuration I'll just of insert this there Active Directory no Domain Services DSCP then we have to do okay, continue then DNS okay continue <coughs> next step Active Directory Domain Services okay 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 <coughs> mm, 
install ok Until it is installed, retry. No. Now, eyes will do an initial configuration on a background. Installing applications till then we'll uh, do our Windows Server ready. Till Windows Server comes up, uh, let's do our. We need to configure one NAT on our router. So, for that, what we'll do, we'll create one access list IP access list extended. Permit Permit IP one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot five dot zero mask zero 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 to five five any Then same with the ten dot same with twenty dot okay I P route zero 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 okay I Ethernet zero slash zero IP NAT outside zero slash one IP NAT inside okay IP NAT source list one zero one interface Ethernet zero slash zero overload. Okay. Then we need to do some routes configuration towards L3 switch. IP route route over ninety two one sixty eight at ten dot zero five two five five two five five dot zero one ninety two one sixty eight five dot one. Then twenty dot also the same we need to do. Okay, let's, let's ping it, 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 it. It's pinging. Same thing we will try from L3 switch. P8.8 is pinging or not pinging. As of now, it is not pinging. Show IP route ping 192.168.5.2. It's pinging. Okay. Add inside source list. Okay. Add inside source one zero one. Enter. Just one zero one. Interface Ethernet zero slash zero. Overload. Okay. Okay, now from L3 we are able to ping uh
Promote the server to domain controller. Domain lab.com. Domain to an existing domain and in forest. Lab.com. Password is uh, okay for administrator. Password we need to configure. Create DNS dedications as of now. Okay, we'll. Okay. Just you need to click on next, 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 and finish. Next. Next. Now we will install our services. The server will reboot after the services. Later we'll do DSCP and DNS configuration. So our server so Active Directory domain services has been installed and it is restarted. Now we will configure DSCP and DNS zones in this server. You can see no task pending. Let's see what we have. So, first we'll create uh, DSCP zones in the server. We'll create only one DSCP zone which is for a test PC VLAN 20 zone only. Server IPv4 new scope scope name VLAN 20 Next, start IP 192.168.20.100 end IP 192.168.20.200 mask is correct exclusion address we don't need anything yeah it is okay want to configure these options default router 192.168.20.1 lab.com then uh, dns is 192.168.10.11 add ok then we will remove this then one more dns we will add is a uh, google dns Add okay. We don't need this. I want to activate this scope. Okay, finish. It's clear now. Complete DSCP configuration. Next, uh, don't need anything as of now. Then we need one uh, DNS forward lookup and reverse lookup zones already have forward lookup zone in a forward lookup zone I want to create one entry for eyes 
new host entry alias ice.lab.com 10 dot sorry 192 168 10 dot 10 okay then under a reverse lookup soon I don't want anything as of now okay if I do a NS lookup for eyes now let's see eyes dot lab dot com exit finger eyes dot lab dot com state ten dot ten it should do a NS inventory now but it is not happening Ten dot ten it's pinging. Okay. Qualified domain name. And this delete. Yes new host eyes.lab.com to the 168.10.10 add host done now let's try to play inquest cannot find eyes.lab.com Please check the name and try again. Okay, I understood. First, uh, we need to change uh, DNS server on particular server. As of now, we don't have any DNS server on this. Where is the default? The following IP address. So. 10.11 only. Close. Now let's see. Still, it is not pinging. We will check this bit. So, friends, uh, ping is working fine for eyes.lab.com from a management PC. There can be some issue from a server, it is not uh, having a NS lookup, but from a management PC, we are able to do successfully. Let's try HTTPS for lab.com. Okay. So now our eyes configuration is also initial setup has been done. Hardware monitoring sensors because it is a virtual appliance. It's okay, everything is installed. Okay. 
okay some things are not work no issue let's see if we can log in into eyes now <sighs> okay we are using the evaluation mode as of now we can use it for 90 days so uh, currently we are using 2.7 version okay so we can successfully log in into eyes so till now what we did uh, in this video we did a lab network devices configuration eyes initial setup windows server ad dscp dns l3 switches configuration l2 switch configuration router as a internet gateway with nat configuration we have done okay in active directory we will create some users for a future reference so how to do this just go to a Active Directory users and computers. We'll create uh, one or two users, not much users. New user. We'll create it with my name. User login. My at lab dot com password never expires i will select then lab at one two three finish okay then one more user we will create for as a test user we will create password never expires okay finish okay this is done for this now let's go to eyes dashboard what uh, what all things we have on a dashboard this is just a home page uh, like how many endpoints we have or active endpoints are rejected uh, Everything we can see here are how many network devices we have integrated with eyes Authentication settings we can see here Then we'll go to like first we'll go to administration And at administration we have deployment uh, if you go to deployment You will get like how many eyes nodes you have and what type of deployment you did Let me show you if you go to a deployment uh, Okay, see as of now we have one eyes node and it is a standalone if you want to add one more eyes node you can add it here or it is it is a standalone so it will be primary if any services you want to enable or disable you can do it here px grid is not enabled as of now we can enable it let's go deployment again deployment node list if you want you can add one more row here and then after deployment you have licensing you have certificate uh, portal from a certificate portal you can generate uh, certificates or uh, import any certificates uh, the certificates will be used for uh, you see uh, if you we'll try to do eyes.lab.com we are getting some error HTTPS error right for HTTPS certificates we can use or else we can use for a uh, radius uh, or uh, EAP authentications we can use the certificates we, we have logs uh, logging settings we have in the administration 
under maintenance we can do repository repository means uh, whenever you do for eyes whenever you go for any backup or restore anything you want to do you want to upgrade eyes you want one repository repository can be a ftp server or a tftp server let me show you what all options you have ftp sftp tftp network file system uh, http or https usually we go with ftp or uh, sftp servers for repository then you have like upgrade option is there once you have a repository there is no repository create a repository then uh, upload a upgrade file in the repository and you can upgrade and backup and restore the same you need to have repository for backup and restore also as of now we don't have we need to have select a repository there is no repository as of now admin access just for like uh, whenever you log in into eyes what identity store you want to use usually we use a ad when we integrate uh, eyes with ad you will get ad also here okay this is like uh, just general settings uh, if you are using poster uh, what type of settings you can use uh, this type of settings you have suppose one minute i'll show you protocols i'm using i'm using the radius suppression repeat failed clients two failures within 10 seconds i don't want to suppress i want as many clients i want suppose if it is rejected in next one second again i can uh, Re-authenticate it uh, and it will not suppress Repeat successful authentication that's okay High rate of radius okay this type of settings you can do UDP ports uh, authentication port uh, accounting ports DTLS ports if you want to change any ports you can change it here Okay Save after deployment you have identity stores under identity management you have like uh, local store external identity stores like ad ldap and all identity source sequence you have which should be the source uh, like all user id this source sequence will be there then you have network resources under network resources uh, usually we have our nad our network devices our switches uh, or firewalls whatever it is usually we'll use that for network resources under the network resources then we have device portal under device portal we have like uh, portals for uh, guest users uh, our BY byod devices everything will be there in a device portal after administration settings if you go to work center we have like uh, administration will have over like not d not uh, exp expanded if you want to expand uh, for a particular thing on a network device you have like network access guest access you have for uh, portals byod settings if you want to do you can do it here poster settings you can do and profile settings you can do device administration uh, We'll do for our network devices authentication. Then we'll if you go to policy sets, you have policy sets, poster configurations, policy elements like conditions, what conditions you want to do, and all client provisioning for poster you can do. Then if you go to operations, you have live logs, live sessions. TACAX for the device authentication logs you can check it here if you want if you have configured any reports you can check in a reports as well context visibility for your endpoint devices users and all suppose your endpoint has any vulnerability or what things it is using you can check on content visibility go to policy results suppose you want to configure a 
anything decal or anything authorization profiles or downloadable ACLs any settings or remediation actions for a posture you can go to policy sets and results and you can do that okay that's all for today's video this is just uh, eyes initial configuration and dashboard go through how to do dot one x map posture profile everything will come in future videos okay thank you everyone bye for now